Hey guys. So, a couple of my coworkers have, uh, actually three coworkers have a birthday all this coming week. And I was approached at work by one of my coworkers and she asked me if I would make them um, some ribs for their birthday. So I said, sure. So Sunday and we're doing, we're doing some ribs. I thought I'd, since I'm doing it anyways, I thought we'd do a video. Um, I've got four St. Louis style um, ribs. My personal favorite is baby back, but this is what they had at Winco today, so, or yesterday. So what I'm doing is I'm putting down my mustard. What I do, the reason I do this is simply, it um, gives the uh, dry rub something to stick to. So it's called a binder. So this is just regular mustard out of the fridge. And okay, that's it. Um, today we're using Honey Hog Barbecue Meat Church. Okay? And um, this stuff is really good. And then I'm also using my competition rib rub by Mo Quezon. And I personally have found that I actually like to just sprinkle, just a light sprinkle of brisket rub at the very end. Um, or, or at the beginning. Actually, because it's really a lot more coarse than the rest, I'll just literally, I'm just gonna sprinkle it just for me, it's kind of like a base layer, okay? I mean, literally, I don't know why. I don't even know if it makes a difference. It might just all be in my head, but I think it's it adds a little something that I just kind of like. That's it, nothing major there. This, I've found, has a lighter color than Mokesons. So I like the color that this gives, so I'm gonna put that down last. That's the only reason why I'm gonna put that one down last. So, you'll see, you'll see once I, once I season these, and this is barbecue, okay, so it's a, it's, it's a heavy season. Um, it's not as heavy as you would a brisket, but you do, I do like to season these, not too, too heavily, but there's, there's a difference between pork and beef. You, you season pork a little light, more light than you do your beef. Um, but these, both of these rubs here, not the brisket rub, but this um, Honey Hog Barbecue, the Meat Church Barbecue, and Mo Quezon's Competition Rib Rub, they're both designed for pork. So it's made to season pork. Okay, so you see the color here? You see the color? It's almost like a light, almost like an orangish peach. Now watch when you put the Mo Quezon one on. I'll start over here so you can see it better. I mean, immediately, it's got like a more deep red. I guess that would be, I think, paprika. Oh, the chicken food's gonna have some seasoning in it. <laughs> They're gonna be like, Baka! what is this, dad? Looking it up. So, okay. Getting everything covered. And that's pretty much gonna be it. Okay. And then, yes, you do kind of want this to, I like to let it set up just for, that should be good. I'm gonna let it set up here. These little sides here need a little bit of love. That's pretty much it. Um, I want that set up. I'll, let, I'll, I'll use a, my spoon, which I like to use, just to kind of help tap this down a little bit, I suppose you can do. And then, so what I've found is after I do this, because I'm not rubbing it 
I'm using a spoon, which is just something that I do. Um, there might be a few little spots that I need to just run back over, but I don't know how necessary this is. I just like to be my meat. Literally. Get your head out of the gutter. Okay? And that's pretty much it. Okay, a couple little dry spots that we find. See over here, I see a little area that can use a little bit of love. A little seasoning. For kicks, we'll go back over it with this one. Just see how much lighter of a color this has? It's, it's pretty, pretty drastic. How much lighter of a color it has. It's very telling. Anyways, that's pretty much it. We'll check back with you guys in a little bit once I get the uh, smoker up to temp, get the charcoals lit right now. All right, we got uh, the temperature of the Oklahoma Joe's Highland Smoker <coughs> set at 270. We come and look, and they can see. 270 degrees. Okay, let me see. This part is kind of funky. So, takes a sec. 270 degrees. We've got some smoke rolling. Hey, baby. Thank you. Uh, I'm using mesquite wood and lump charcoal. And I'm using big chunks of mesquite. And yeah, for my coworkers, hope they like it. I don't mind doing it. I love doing it. So this is quite a lot. Four racks. So it's a little bit, I've got my water pan in here. Um, so it's taking up a little bit of my space. So, I mean, as you can see, it's, there's four racks. I could probably fit one more over there. But unless, unless I get one of those rib racks that you can stand the ribs up, laying them down this way, I'd say about five is probably capacity for this smoker. Um, but anyways, happy smoking. Patriot Barbecue. See you later. Have a good day. What's up, guys? So at this point, <coughs> we got the ribs going at 11:30. They were put on the smoker. It is now 2:30. So we've been going for about three hours. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a look for the color and see how we're looking. So this is at the three-hour mark. As you can see, we've got some nice color going. Um, and that's really all you're doing at this point of this uh, for the smoke is adding at you're adding flavor with the smoke and you're trying to achieve a color that you like the color that you're looking for so I'm happy with this I think this has some great color on it um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be wrapping and again we're gonna wrap it with brown sugar butter and honey so we're gonna put it back on the smoker for about two hours or so um, and really really start doing some some real cooking on the on the on the pork ribs and then once that's done um, we're gonna unwrap them we're gonna baste them with barbecue sauce and we're gonna stick them back on the smoker and that's how you get that nice sticky flavorful delicious rib that everybody loves so that's where we're at um, we'll uh, we'll check back in a little while and go Vikings Okay, so we're at the point now where we are going to start wrapping. We've got the color achieved that we want. We've got the smoke flavor on them, that delicious mesquite flavor. 
And now we're going to be wrapping with the brown sugar, butter, and honey. So, start with that boy right here. Nice rib, put that nice color on it. Nice and juicy. Smells delicious. Okay, so we'll set it down. And Layla, let's do some butter. Let's put about three pieces of butter there. Let me help you. Good job, it's cold. The butter's cold, so it's a little hard. Let me see it. So there's one, two, three, three pieces of butter. Grab that. The brown sugar. And some honey. Like they say, honey for the money. And that's pretty much it right there. Then, what we're gonna do, see, because I know I'm gonna be wrapping four, four ribs, I've laid down eight sheets of foil so that it's all ready to go. So, very simple. Fold over, fold over, fold over, fold over, and you want these to be tight. You want this to be wrapped tight. And then repeat. When you wrap, you want to be conscious of the fact that you may have to unwrap or you will have to unwrap to take a look at things. So you don't want to be all complicated in the way that you wrap them. Nice and tight. And right back on to the smoker it goes. Now we're gonna go ahead and get all these. Uh, well, let's just do one more. Heck, heck with it. Let's just do another one. So I'll just grab this like this, real quick. Boom. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Let's see. Thank you, baby. butter down. We'll go ahead and do some brown sugar. Do a little more. Okay. And we'll do some honey. Okay. Nice that. Again. Wrap tightly. Okay, I do two sheets like that. it goes okay this one's got some really nice color this has got the beautiful color so we'll get a little all right so this rib here just looks delicious oh, look, that's a fantastic looking rib that's got some great color to it beautiful color um, that's just a delicious looking rib right there so again
All right, so we'll get these wrapped up, get them on the smoker, and we'll check back in with you in a little bit. So we just got done um, wrapping everything and getting it back on the smoker. This will go for about two hours. So about 4.45 um, should be good to go to um, unwrap in the foil based in barbecue sauce, get it back on the smoker to tack up, and they'll be done. Um, coworkers should be happy. And as you can see, while the, while the uh, lid was open to the meat chamber, that fire really kicked up nice, which is actually what I wanted. So what I'm gonna do right now is shut everything down. I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna shut, shut my vent completely and shut that fire out and then stabilize my temperature again. Um, so we'll check back. Hope you guys are having a good day. Okay, so it is now time to unwrap. Ribs have been going uh, since 11:30. It is now 5:15. Okay, so I let I left them in the uh, tin foil a little longer than I wanted to, but it's okay. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna unwrap them. Come on and see. Okay. You can see some of those that that meat pullback, which is what we're looking for, what we want. Okay. That one is quite done. So this one was a little closer to the firebox. So I mean, you're literally going to be able to take a bone and pull it right out. So that one's going to be a little bit more done than say this one is over here. Um, So, if you don't want the bones to be literally fall off the meat, like the ribs to be fall off the meat done, just don't wrap it for quite as long. Take it off of the smoker a little bit sooner and you can avoid that. Um, this is going to be kind of a mixture of fall off the, fall off the bone meat. And some of them are going to be a little bit less done um, than others. This one's a little less done. See, this one's still can, not quite as done as that last one. That one just, I mean, literally just fell right off the bone. And it's, that's kind of, it's up to you. It's your preference. It's how, how, you, and how you like it. There's that one. I'm just gonna unwrap all of them. You see that one still, that one still holds, okay? But that first one would not have held. You, if, you, if I would have done that, it just would went, it just would have fallen apart. And I don't want to do that out here in the backyard. I want to do that on my plate. That. Watch your feet, dude. That's kind of hot. Okay. It smells amazing. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, base with barbecue sauce. Okay. So again, today I'm using Stubbs Sticky Sweet and we're just going to lather it on there.
So we're just painting the barbecue sauce on. Hey, Max. You all right, bud? Okay. Just paint that barbecue sauce on there. You do want to apply somewhat of an even coat. But there you have it. Okay, so we're going to close the lid again. We're going to let that sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, 30 minutes max. You don't have to. It's just at this point, the ribs are done. All we're trying to do is get this barbecue sauce to be nice and sticky. And then the ribs are done. They're good to go. So we'll do, uh, we'll probably do a little taste test here in a little bit. Matter of fact, I'll. Pretty damn good. So, and yeah, we'll get back to you. We'll check back in a little bit um, and just give you a little final picture. Again, another successful uh, rib smoke on the Oklahoma Joe's Highland. And um, make sure you like and subscribe. Tune in for more. I'll be doing some more videos here soon. And um, we had fun. Talk to you guys later. All right, so the ribs are done. And we're gonna do a quick taste test. And see how they are. Mm. Can't beat it. That is delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna enjoy some ribs. And um, have a great night. So, all this work, it's a labor of love here at Patriot Barbecue. But this is really all for my, my coworkers because it's their birthday. So, I just wanted to kind of show you guys because I was cutting through a few of these and I was getting some beautiful looking cuts of ribs. So, I thought I would just show you. Take a look at that. Look at how beautiful that rib is. So, anyways, have a good one.